Glenn Beck is a very successful host on Fox News and talk radio who addresses his audience of zillions every day on themes such as Barack Obama is out to get you, so be afraid. Uh, and also Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid are out to get you, so be afraid. He also sometimes mixes it up by talking about liberals from the past who are out to get you, so you should be afraid. We don't spend a lot of time on this show talking about what's happening on his show or on any other show for that matter. But we didn't notice last week when Mr. Beck took a swipe at one of our guests, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Mr. Science Guy did an interview with me about people on TV last week implying or coming right out and saying that the big February East Coast snowstorm disproved climate change. Mr. Beck went after Bill Nye for being critical about that, and he said something embarrassing and plainly wrong in the process. We summarize that as follows. Oh, it's un-American, unpatriotic, unpatriotic to claim. First of all, who has claimed that this snowstorm is proof that global warming doesn't exist? Who's claimed that? Dude, you have a lot. Well, the, uh, the snow is hammering Washington, D.C. again. I believe God is just saying, I got your global warming here, eh? You want a piece of global warming? Same radio show, same guy. So that was the case we, that was the case we made. Um, in going after good old Bill Nye the Science Guy, Glenn Beck denied that he'd ever said that snowstorms disprove global warming. He had indeed said that, and he shouldn't have denied it. Sort of an easy one, right? Open and shut. And it's open again now, apparently. Here's Mr. Beck incredibly today. Bill Nye, the science guy, appeared on a show uh, I refuse to name because, um, well, I mean, they're only bringing it up for attention. And I, uh, I think more people now will view this video blog than watch the entire network. But here's what Bill Nye said. If you want to get serious about it, these guys uh, claiming that the snow in Washington disproves climate change are, are almost unpatriotic. It's, it's a really, it, they're denying science. First of all, unpatriotic? Really? Danny Glover, Sean Penn, all of these other Chavez-loving idiots? Really, that, they're cool. But I'm asking for an open debate on an issue and it's unpatriotic? Secondly, no one is saying that one storm causes global warming. But after I made fun of this clip on the air, the host, instead of hiding in shame, decided to call me a liar. Now watch carefully. Here's what they showed. Mr. Beck played the clip and then mocked Mr. The Science Guy. All right, go ahead, Bill. The, you, there's more energy in the atmosphere, oh. and this is stirring things up. Oh, boy. If you want to get serious about serious. it, these guys uh, claiming that the snow in Washington disproves climate change Nobody's saying that. Are, stop, stop. are almost unpatriotic. Oh, boy. Hit the Tim Robbins. I'm sorry, the Mr. Sarandon. By the A chill yes. wind is blowing in this nation. Oh, it's un-American, unpatriotic. Unpatriotic to claim. First of all, who has claimed that this snowstorm is proof that global warming doesn't exist? Who has claimed that? Dude, you have. It is one thing to be totally outrageously wrong about facts and science, but the price of that is getting made fun of for it and getting called out on it, boom, by Bill Nye the Science Guy. On climate change, new rule. You lie, you must pay the nigh. Ah, I see. I'm a liar. But, and here's the inconvenient truth, what was the very next sentence I said that they cut off? Who has claimed, claimed that, that this snowstorm no is proof that, that global, global warming, warming doesn't, doesn't exist? exist? How many times have I said, both for hurricanes and no hurricane, this doesn't, one storm, one storm does not prove anything. It is a trend. Kind of nukes your whole point, doesn't it? I guess that's why they didn't show it. No wonder they sympathize so much with the alarmist who hide and lose key data. Looks like they don't mind doing exactly the same thing themselves. The exactly the say do what now? That bit at the end, alarmist, he says, who hide and lose key data. This is amazing to me. 
as little as I care about how other people who work in cable TV do their shows and make their arguments, Mr. Beck is supposedly the best they've got. Mr. Beck is this phenomenon, right, who they're keeping on the air for his ratings even as he's lost so many sponsors. He's supposedly the leader of a political movement, not just a TV host. I get hate mail from all sorts of conservatives all the time. I always have. But it is the hate mail from self-proclaimed fans of Mr. Beck that is most likely to contain death threats and threats of violence against me, uh, expressed as extensions of the frenzied devotion his, his fans feel for him. They think he is the second coming. And because of that, I just want to point something out here. What Mr. Beck is accusing me of, and he went on in his radio show to, to call me a liar and a propagandist and all this other stuff because of it, what he's accusing me of is cutting out part of his quote. But did you notice what he just did? Just, this is very short, just watch his clip again. Watch this. Who's claimed that? Dude. You have. It is one thing to be totally outrageously wrong about facts and science. Wait, what was that little flip flip in the middle there? What happened there? Was there something there that you cut out? To accuse me of making it up when I said Glenn Buck is among those who have claimed that snow disproves global warming, he just edited out the part where I gave the evidence of him doing that. <laughs> out the part where I showed him and a bunch of other people on Fox saying that snow disproved global warming. You showed no evidence because I've edited out the part where you did show the evidence. <laughs> this is incredible. Here's what he edited out. First of all, who has claimed that this snowstorm is proof that global warming doesn't exist? Who's claimed that? Dude, you have a lot. Well, the, uh, the snow is hammering Washington, D.C. again. I believe God is just saying, I got your global warming here, eh? You want a piece of global warming? Same radio show, same guy. <laughs> and it's not like that was a one-off occurrence. I don't think it takes a genius to see through the more snow is proof of global warming claim. Glenn Beck is telling his viewers that I'm a liar and a propagandist for pointing out his cockamamie claim that snowfall disproves global warming. He has, in fact, made that cockamamie claim a lot, no matter how much he denies it. It doesn't snow very much in Virginia, and it looks like it's going to be the worst snowfall in the state in about 20 years. And the reason why I bring this up is because, well, global warming. Couple, yeah, first of all. First of all, global Al Gore warming. is full of crap. I promise you now that I am going to idle my uh, SUV 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to make sure that it doesn't snow again in May in Virginia. If we don't find Al Gore by 5 o'clock, I'm starting an Amber Alert. I don't want to panic anyone, but it is strange that he's just disappeared in the largest snowfall in Washington, D.C. history. But you'd have to think, wow, I really wasted my life, haven't I? Wow, everything that I worked on seems to be a miserable failure. Because my global warming contention is disproven by this giant snowfall. I commend Mr. Beck for his success. I wish his giant audience all the best. He has made a lot of people very afraid about a lot of things. And that tried and true strategy has reaped big financial rewards for him and for Fox News. I think it's between you and your God or you and your conscience as to how much you're willing to stir up Americans' fear and prejudice for profit. But it's between you and me when you accuse me of lying. I didn't lie. Back off.